This is a video for Reese of Global Metal Apocalypse. Um, he asked me a question um, in regards to does it matter where music comes from? No, it doesn't matter. Um, I'm the vocalist um, of the Summer and Verse. Um, we come from Bristol, UK. But for instance, a lot of our in, uh, influences come from America. Um, a lot of our influences come from Japan. Um, a lot of our electronic influences come from um, places like Germany and Europe and Egypt. So it really, really doesn't matter where your music comes from or where you're from. It's all about the sound that comes across. Um, I mean, you could record somewhere in... You could record in an island. I mean, Anna Shikari recorded their Flash Flood of Colour in Thailand. Um... So it's, it's all about really what you have access to in your area to make your sound, you know, the best producing it can be, really. But, you know, good music can come from anywhere, absolutely anywhere. So to every single person out there in the world that wants to follow their dreams and wants to aim for the sky, do it, you know. Don't give up on it. Hi. I'm Gus, and I'm the guitarist from the Ipswich band Invasive, and I'm answering the question, does it matter where a heavy metal band comes from? Okay, in my opinion, you can get great metal bands from all over the world, whether it be from South America or Sweden or India to Iowa, and anywhere else in between. I don't think it makes a blind bit of difference where they come from, whether that be inner cities, leafy suburbs, or rural farmland. Great metal bands have, and always will, come from every corner of the globe, and long may that continue. Um, this is Mel from Aeonia, and I sing and play keyboards. Um, in I am originally from Indianapolis, Indiana, and to answer the question, no, I don't believe it matters where a heavy metal band comes from, because music is the universal language. Who wants to go next? That's your turn, Karen. Okay. Clockwise, go clockwise. Uh, hello, I'm James, and I live in Doncaster. Um, what else do I need to say? What you play? Well, I'm a guitarist, um, and no, I don't. I don't believe that it matters where where you come from. Is that where? Or is it where metal comes from? No, where where a band comes from. Where a band comes from. Yeah. No, I don't think it matters where a band comes from because, especially dur during the age during the age of like internet and shit, you can get music from all over the world, where, where, wherever you are. So you, you know, in interests and everything. It's ne never been so open I think so Hi I'm Gary bass player Aeonia from Sunderland originally moved to Barnsley 13 and a half year ago getting on me now um, yeah again I don't think um, it matters where your band comes from metal band or whatever genre there's good music there's bad music and I think we're a prime example of that um, we all meet here once a week um, and rock out over to you Hi there, it's Slick. Uh, I'm from Poland originally, so as you can see, it absolutely doesn't matter where the music comes from, where the persons come from. Music is, like Mel says, universal. It's really cool. So, yeah, it's not bother about where it comes from, but what it is. Cheers. But you're a guitarist. Oh, yeah, I'm a guitarist, yeah. <laughs> Seven strings. Tony, totally drums, Aonia. No, it doesn't matter, although... If you're a band in this country, the audiences tend to be shit. <laughs> Thank you, good night. Thank you. 
Hello, my name is Richard and I'm from the heavy metal band Hollow Demise. I am the vocalist, singer, shouter, and we are based in predominantly in the Essex area, but we have members in the southeast of London as well. Um, I've been asked today to answer what I would class as a very complex question. Um, does it matter where heavy metal comes from? in terms of location um, this is a complicated because my answer is probably um, not like many of the other people's because I believe in the early days of heavy metal when it was started out it was very important the location and also I believe also the class side of things but I believe the more the music evolves and the more other people get into it as well from different backgrounds and everything like that I believe it, it's more if you like it you like it but um, the reason it's so complicated is because I'm a great believer that um, the UK um, started the heavy metal genre um, mainly due to the major bands which are you know in my eyes Black Sabbath was a major influence as well as Iron Maiden to what is now heavy metal um, and the location of these bands I believe was vital for the birth of heavy metal for example um, Iron Maiden came from London and they were very much from the working class and I believe that the music shines through as well the working class mentality also which I believe is especially for myself a major major influence in Hollow Demise is Black Sabbath um, more to do with the sound um, Black Sabbath have been on record stating that if it wasn't for where they came from the sound wouldn't have came out like it would have because where Black Sabbath came from was in Birmingham and in that day and age um, Birmingham was very run down um, very much an industrial town and what they found influential was the steel mills around the actual location of where they were actually born and brought up and that made the so-called sound of heavy metal and also which is in common with where Maiden came from they were working class lads um, we were in a very great depression at the time in England and I do believe that the location as well as the environment around them has made what we now know as heavy metal and I feel that the location back there and who you are and what you was gave influence to bands such as Venom um, Saxon you know the basically the British new wave of heavy metal all came from those kind of backgrounds because the whole flower power Woodstock what was beaming probably through their TVs of all this peace happiness and all that um, it was their reality and one thing about the metal genre is it is you know based upon a certain I know there's you know a lot of influence from horror films and all that but it's based upon real emotion that's what metal prides itself it's a very powerful genre and um, these bands came from that um, going back to the actual question I believe that ever since the birth of heavy metal there's been a lot of um, like for example that's a uh, Swedish death metal because it had a certain sound to it and you know for example the fresh metal 
came from you know the thrash metal scene came from you know America San Francisco and the Germans took it over and everything but it is all always locations where these you know I, I class it as um, evolving the idea um, they got the basis of what Sabbath was doing or what you know going the more modern route like Carcass was doing at the time and I do believe a lot of bands evolved the idea you know um, and none could be so true with a European sound they got the heavy metal genre they took it and they put a new spin on it and that's where you got the subgenres such as black metal, death metal, grindcore, all these kind of other subgenres of the basis and just evolved it to and that brought their kind of sound in as well. So when you were actually talking about a band, for example, that is a Scandinavian black metal band, or that is a Swedish death metal band. Or, you know, there was always a location to where you actually were at the time. But I believe that even though, you know, the European scene and the American scene and the English scene, it, it it's all nowadays, there's so many crossovers. For example, Thrash Metal, um, being a big Thrash Metal fan, you can hear it influences throughout my band. A lot of that came from the reaction of the area where fresh metal was born in my eyes was a bay area and all those kind of surrounding areas and um, from that kind of um you know environment mainly at that time there was a lot of things called glam metal glam metal was basically for those who do not know um blokes who wore makeup um big hair you couldn't actually identify a man from a woman because they all looked very pampered and very tight looking clothing and all that and it the the location at the time was swarmed with this and very much like when Sabbath was swarmed with the you know the Woodstock love and peace and all that and with the environment and the location there was these bands that took it back and wanted the old school feel of what heavy metal was, which was a working class music. And that brought birth of the fresh metal. So the location is important, but it's mainly to do with the environment at the time. And it's all stepping stones to evolve what originally started by Maiden, Saxon and Priest and Sabbath and all that and it evolves the idea but coming back to the actual answer to the question which was you know does it matter where heavy metal comes from it used to but nowadays I feel it's been crossed over so many times and people are influenced you know it's you don't just go to a heavy metal band and go right your influences they must just be from England or anything but no they, they're probably influenced by you know our influence across so many different countries it's unbelievable um you know we've we love bands such as you know carcass which is british we love um creator which is germany um we love slayer which and exodus which is america so you know i i feel that heavy metals evolved so much that it's a global phenomenal i can't even say it now phenomenon no, i can't it's a global thing anyway <laughs> you can edit that if you would like that'd be fantastic but um it is a global um community and i feel that where the location was important at the time in the environment um there's so many influences and there's so many growth and how the music's evolved throughout its time that um no i don't think location is important I think it's more of a passion and all the, so the mentality and um, yeah that's my answer thank you very much